Good girl, that's just your good girl, Kamora. Yo, what up? It's your boy Everyday Inc. And today, I'm gonna be playing fish with my exotic micro bully, and we jumping into it right now. Welcome to Home Gates Bully Camp. If you're new here, make sure you go ahead and damn that subscribe button. And don't forget when you subscribe over here, you're not just a subscriber. No. You part of the family now. With that being said, if you're not a part of squad, join squad now. You feel me? I'm back at y'all today, man. Hope all is well. Hope everything going good with y'all. You feel me? I decided to drop a little video today. I said I might as well play fetch with Gamora. You know what I'm saying? We in the house. We chilling. You know what I'm saying? Yesterday was kind of a little rainy day and all that good stuff. And it's kind of, you know what I'm saying, still wet outside. So I'm like, hey, might as well play fetch with Gamora in the house. You like to play fetch, don't you, Gamora? Yeah, I like to play fetch, Daddy. Yeah, I like to play fetch. Yeah. You wanna play fetch Gamora? That's what you wanna do? Yeah. Man, y'all check out how small this girl is, man. Check out how itty bitty she is, man. Tiny y'all. This is uh this is seven months, guys. Seven months. Seven months, guys. She's super tiny. Look at that little short back, y'all. Little short back, little itty bitty legs. Y'all check her out, man. And she love to play fetch, y'all. So we about to make that happen. The crazy thing is, y'all, is I'm not even the one that really taught her how to play fetch. So my little three-year-old daughter taught her how to play fetch, y'all. I was really trying my best at first, but she would not, like, go get it for me. She wouldn't chase the toy or bring it back. But my little girl just kept playing with her every day, and she actually fetched it for her. And in return, I was able to play fetch with her, but my little girl definitely taught her how to do it. It had nothing to do with me. Ain't that right going on? So we're gonna play fetch. Cause I know that's what you wanna do. You know what I'm saying? Oh, come on, camera. Oh, it was upside down for a minute, y'all. I don't know what happened. That's what you wanna do, man. Oh yeah, that's what you wanna do. You wanna play fetch? Good girl, that's such a good girl, Kamora. That's a good girl. That's such a good girl. That's a good girl. This her thing, y'all. She like to play fetch, man. Y'all can see them little muscles she got too, man. Playing fetch, put the muscles on y'all, dog. Y'all better get ready, man. Y'all better, y'all better get on it. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't playing fetch with your dog. You lose it, man. It's gonna put that muscle on him. You feel me? Give me that. Give me that. Good girl. And beyond, you feel me? It put muscle on him. It helped build a relationship. You feel me? With you and your dog. So not only is playing fetch fun with them, you feel me? It be a relationship, y'all. Good girl. That's a good girl, Gamora. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. But yeah, guys, it builds relationship. You feel me? We just be playing in the house most of the time. Sometimes we'll play outside, but she's so small, you know what I'm saying? I think she just enjoy playing in the house, y'all. And I enjoy it with her, so that's what we be making happen. <laughs> y'all check out the movement, though, you know what I'm saying? We talking about a, a micro here, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't catch a lot of micros with that good, healthy movement, you know what I'm saying? A lot of them be sluggish or can't move right. Y'all check out the mobility though, man. Check out the alertness, you feel me? Boom, take off. Full speed, full agility, great breathing, y'all. She a good dog, man. She built real clean. Built real clean. I can't wait to get some clean puppies off of her. You know what I'm saying? That way, the squad, y'all can have access to them, man. If y'all want some nice, nice micros, man. Some nice clean micros. Some little apartment dogs, some little house dogs, some y'all can have, man. Gamora gonna spit that out. And like I said, I got a crazy stud she going to. So, y'all be on the lookout for that, man. If you like mini bulls, micro bulls, micro bullies, exotic micro bullies, you got a litter coming soon, man. I ain't gonna say, like, soon, soon. But I'm definitely gonna say we got a litter coming within about... You know what I'm saying? Probably about nine months from now, y'all. 
about nine months from now, we're going to make something happen, y'all. So definitely put y'all duckets up and save y'all chips. If y'all want something nice, man, y'all want a nice, clean dog, she definitely uh going to spit out some color. And definitely the stud that's going to her is going to spit out some nice color, too, y'all. But uh, trying to give y'all an idea for how small she is, man. Like, y'all can see how little her leg is, bro. Like, tiny, tiny, like. Y'all see how small she is, bro. Like I said, still extremely active, y'all. Oh, I had a partner of mine tell me about putting a paper towel beside her. Okay, Gamora. Come here, sit. Sit. Gamora, sit. Y'all can see how small she is next to the paper towel, bro. Sit, Gamora. Stay. Stay. Y'all can see how small she is, bro. Like, grab a paper towel at the crib, and y'all can get an idea for how short this dog really is, man. And like I said, once again, super active, man. You can't find it in all micros. A lot of them cannot move around like that, y'all. So, that's something you want to look into. And this litter that I got coming up with her, y'all, within the next nine months, is going to be 100% micro. Every dog that comes out is going to be like micro nano, y'all. Like, she's definitely micro, micro, micro. Along the lines of micro nano, you feel me? This is, like I said, this is within, you know what I'm saying, seven months, guys. Like, withers right here, you know what I'm saying? Tail right here. This is her back, y'all. Like, she that small. Like, that's my hand, you feel me? On her back. That's from the withers, y'all. My thumb from the withers, you feel me? Like, that small, that tiny. At seven months. But, yeah, if you guys looking to get in on, like, a micro, micro, super tiny litter, this is going to be it, you know what I mean? I won't hop on here and say they're going to be cheap because that's not the case. Um, she was an expensive dog herself. And, uh... <laughs> Yeah, I see how she slid. <laughs> she was an expensive dog herself. And uh, her dad is definitely has a very expensive stud fee. But it's worth it. Once again, guys, uh, the breedings I got coming up. Of course, I love the squad. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not necessarily breeding to sell puppies. You know what I'm saying? I'm breeding to uh, see my own creation. And you guys... You get to get in on puppies, that's awesome, man. You get to get something nice, a nice dog. But I'm ultimately breeding for what I'm looking for uh, to create in the micro bully I want. You feel me? Something uh, healthy, something that can move, something that's strong, you know what I'm saying? Something that's family oriented and uh, very active, you know what I mean? And very healthy. And uh, like I said, this stud I got going to her, I will release that information for y'all soon, man. I know y'all been wondering, and I know I've been telling y'all this in multiple videos. I'm just trying to keep it under wraps for a minute, you know what I mean? But just know she going to a super crazy stud, man. And uh, this breeding is going to be insane, guys. Y'all can see the energy, man. Y'all see the excitement. Y'all see how happy she is. And, like, y'all see I done threw this thing probably a good 10 times. Like, she's not out of breath at all. Y'all don't hear her panting heavy or breathing heavy or anything like that, man. She's healthy. She's built well. She's built strong, man. And uh, this dog, I could take this dog for, you know what I'm saying, a two-mile walk. And she not even be phased, you feel me? She be, like, good. Y'all see she hadn't got tired yet. A lot of dogs get tired and just basically stop playing fetch, guys. She hasn't stopped yet. <laughs> Still super active, man. But she a good dog, man. Good attitude. Um, very loving. Great with my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Just an overall nice, clean dog, y'all. And, uh... Awesome dog to play fetch with if you at the house board. 
But uh, beyond that, man, gotta let y'all know, squad, how much I thank y'all so much for the love, you feel me? Um, thank y'all so much for everybody that's new to the channel and subscribing. Um, I got new people coming in on a daily basis, you feel me? New family members joining the channel, man. Can't let, can't tell y'all how much I appreciate it, you feel me? Uh, appreciate the support, appreciate all the love, the comments. Um, if you like this video, make sure you give your boy a big thumbs up. It's uh, gladly appreciated and it just, it just helps um, push my channel out there uh, to more people so the family can get stronger, you feel me? So the family can keep growing, guys. Um, I got a lot in store for this channel. You guys know I provide American Bully content, exotic bully content. I just provide information that can possibly help you guys, especially if you got an American Bully or a pit bull or anything of that nature, bulldog, anything like that, guys. And uh, there's a lot to come on this channel as far as uh, breedings, uh, more information, more dogs, guys, um, traveling trips, exciting things. I got a lot to come, guys. So I just thank y'all so much, man. And uh, y'all stay safe and stay blessed. Hit that notification bell so you know when your boy dropping some heat. I see y'all next time. Got them excited. Got them excited. I got the micro. I got the micro. Got them excited. Got them excited. I got the